not sure how the story goes, but I think it's like Björkur with Thor and his and his son. They went to Russia in the early 2000s when they were still privatizing like small companies, and they bought I think it loan was for a, shares. Yeah, they, they bought like a factory. Uh, like a beer factory or a brewery or I'm not sure what it was. It was like something that manufactures uh, drinks, maybe maybe beer, maybe just soda or something. And they got really rich somehow. I'm not sure. And it's I think the story is a little bit blurry. And and then they came back here when the privatization of the Icelandic banks were t was taking place which was uh, in the early 2000s, so he must have been in Russia in the 1990s. And he had all this money from Russia and he got one of the banks here. And he was actually one of the like villains of the financial crisis in Iceland in 2008. One of the... the what was villains, the word? You know, What's the, villain? The, you the mean villain, the, the bad uh, guy, you know. Oh. One of yeah. the villains. Of the villains, yeah. You mean, oh. I mean, he, he owned one of the biggest banks and they were doing all this illegal business and that's why the... So that was sort of an aberration. I mean, like, yeah. Iceland was known for its yeah. keen business practices, right? Yeah. <laughs> all for a brief That's what time. I was saying yeah. earlier, that there's yeah. always these nefarious elements from yeah. abroad that can taint the Icelandic of course. Uh, utopia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and I mean... People really like Icelandic. People. So do they? So there is there? Sorry. Yeah. No. Is is there some sort of uh, uh, derision toward Russia because of that, or some sort of uh, no, uh, it was distrust? Like this crazy affair. Nobody really knows what they did in Russia, but they probably had some dodgy connections and did some probably some illegal things. And that's how they Thors. came into a lot yeah. of money and and went back here and bought the biggest bank, one of the banks. So, I mean, that's pretty it's really nefarious, you know. yeah, nefarious. Huh? Yeah, and he he now lives in Britain, and his best friend is David Beckham, and they come here for <laughs> to go fishing in the wild and. Well, you know. Yeah. Traffic money buys you interesting stuff. friends, yeah. And yeah. but if the public distrust you then you kind of lose everything yeah. yeah people in Iceland don't trust him right now 